हे गाइस माय नेम इज़ अनुराधा वेलकम टू आर चैनल जी के गाइडेंस एंड नॉलेज हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू नो वेरी वेल अबाउट दी सेंसस बट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी सोशियो इकोनॉमिक कास्ट सेंसस लेट्स बिगिन विद द क्वेश्चन आर टू डेज क्वेश्चन इज सोशियो इकोनॉमिक एंड कास्ट सेंसस व्हिच इज एस ई डबल सी इन शॉर्ट इज अ बेटर एक्सरसाइज देन सेंसस टू कैप्चर दी पॉपुलेशंस डेटा वी हैव टू कमेंट ऑन इट इट मींस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू प्रोवाइड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक कास्ट सेंसस व्हाट इज इट एंड देन how it was beneficial and better than the census normal census let us see significance of this question is that can be asked in gs paper 1 under the population and associated issues diversity in india and silent features of the indian society these are the headings then gs paper 2 under the heading of government policies and interventions our introduction would be everyone know that our country's nature is unity in diversity so many different caste and religious person live in our country other side tribal people and the left wing extre- extremism lives in our country and we see many inequalities between in their people therefore reduce inequalities in our country government conduct census and socio economic caste census many experts says that socio economic caste census is better than the census to capture the population's data the concept of complete census first first came in first came in 1881 during the viceroy lord mayo for understanding indian resources population and literature while the first socio economic caste census introduced in 1931 what are the advantages of it easily access easily access those person without any household shelters then reduce inequalities between weaker section and tribal people and we can also avail authentic information particularly every caste of our country and our society available education status and socio economic and caste wise people then provide authentic data of farmers those belongs to economical weaker section it will also help us to make people centric policies then what are the disadvantages and challenges lack of awareness and technology huge number of corruption then political parties misuse their data for the vote banking then increase conflict between religion and caste then increase caste religion and religion regional divisions also increase conflict subdivision in caste then it also violate the fundamental rights which are article 14 provide equality before the law and equal protection of the law for all section of the society then article 15 prohibition of discrimination on the ground of religion caste race sex and place of birth then article 46 promotion of educational and economic interest of sts and sts scs and sts scheduled caste and scheduled tribes then our way forward would be we need to utilize the existing data then also need to increase awareness digital alternatives and the technology for the census then niti ayog and ngos non governmental organizations need to improve training of socio economics and left wing extremist groups then census to be done properly for more efficiency then properly use the method of creamy layer then our conclusion would be socio economic caste census can be far better than just a census and government need to properly use to make and implement policies which also help us to achieve sustainable development goal 10 reduce inequalities in our country so this is it for today thank you for listening don't forget to like and subscribe also produce solutions to improve jai hind jai